So I'm testing out like my tripod and shit, and, like the little shit I got, like my light setup. Like I got the R LED lights like on my wall, and then I got some like in my ceiling fan type shit, and I got the lights like, and I'm just just messing around with the like the the ring light for this. This is the ring light off, right? So it's like vibe, got the red curling for me. It's a nice vibe, and then turn that on. It's like you see me clear. It's like ugh. it's like looking at myself. I'm not ugly, yo. I've never felt like that. Middle school, even a little bit to high school. Like I'm looking at myself, I'm like, damn, I am not ugly. That's crazy to me, yo. I'm not ugly. 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 That's crazy as fuck. Let me um, my desk all look dirty. Let me. Switch the to a white so I can see where like my camera dot is. I don't know where it is. I'm about to like look hella creepy because I don't know where the fuck. Is. I'm gonna just assume just there. All right, I'm gonna look there to make eye contact and shit. Got the lights. Got red. Got blue. Got green. Got orange. But but the red, the red red just fits it. Just so anyways. I told myself every day in November, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. Something. I have to upload something. Either to YouTube or either Instagram. Real, just something. And this first thing is just I don't, a check-in, I guess. I don't fucking know. I'm just going to start doing shit, bro. Because I say I want to do YouTube, but I just don't. I'm just like, fuck it. I'm going to just do something. And this is my summer. Um, so Takeoff is dead. I woke up to that. I didn't even wake up to that. Fucking Halloween night, right? Me and my girl, we went to the club on Halloween, right? With, like, my friends and my friend Chris. Yeah, I came back from the military. My friend JC, I mean, he came back. He, he lives in Las Vegas. So it's like, you know, we finally got all the crew. We all together. We go to the club. And then we get home from the club. And it was like, we just saw on Instagram. It was like, oh, yeah, take off shot. Take off dead. And it was like, what the fuck? That caught me way, way, way off guard. Cause my thing is, I'm not finna see it. Be like, I was Takeoff's biggest fan. I was his number one. I listened to that nigga since he was. Bye -bye, bye -bye, bye -bye. That's not even the case. I like, I'm not even finna sit here and be a fucking poser. But it's still very sad to hear about like an artist coming up. And again, he was 28. Like nigga, bro couldn't even make it to 30 without getting his life taken away from him. And I think that's very sad. And like, what I want to think about it is like, what I want to take away from it is like. I remember, I I don't know where I heard this from. I could be wrong. My memory could be wrong or something. But they said being a rapper was like the most dangerous job in the entertainment. And like, it makes sense. Because for me, it's like, it's what comes with being a rapper. And it's like what a lot of rappers come from. Like when they say they make it out of the mud and shit. Like they come from like, like intense poverty. And they know only certain ways of life that comes with shooting and gang violence and all types of shit. And it's like, I don't think... When, when people, because again, black man dead, they're always going to use that as like gun control. Oh, black on black crime and gang violence and all these N words of this and that. And you feel me? They'll, they'll use it for all types of shit. But what I really think it comes down to is like, it's going to be corny as fuck. But why can't we just like love each other more and realistically, or not even love each other more. Let me not even say that. Correct myself. Abba and Preach made a video on it and they mentioned something about ego and I think that they hit it right on the head with that. Where it's like, people are very prideful. People are very prideful. And people have a very big ego, like, on their head type shit. And it's like, this is all of that. So I'm just trying to think of, like, what I want to say next. Because I just, I can ramble. Um, people are very egotistical. And people have a very pride to them. And they said that he was gambling or shooting dice or something. And dude who lost was trying to get shoot quavo but accidentally hit takeoff and takeoff again takeoff is quiet takeoff is like imagine like you got a friend group you got loud people you know, takeoff is a quiet individual like personality wise like he's known for that type shit so he was just sitting there and he was the one who got hit i don't know what the situation was but it seems like a lot of pride and a lot of ego was involved in that and that's something that gets under my skin because it's like understand taking pride in yourself but people don't know how to take L's anymore. That's irritating. That's fucking annoying. Like, you're not going to be number one. You're not going to be this every 
fucking day. You're not going to be top dog, top G every day of your fucking life. That is not how reality works. And also, you got to understand, you feel me? You're going to be at the bottom sometimes. You're going to be second place and shit. So, like, how come niggas just can't take L's? I don't want to talk about this sad ass shit. Because I had a good day. And I think it's ironic that it's a lot of death going on today, at least. Because today, my job, I work at a youth center named, called Named. Well, yeah, I work at a youth center named Reach. And today was Day of the Dead. It was our biggest event. It was our biggest festival. And I think it went good. I think it went super fire. I got there late. Horrible time management. But hey, we can talk about that later. Horrible time management. But got there late. Got there at least. Set up sound. Set up the equipment. Sound checked. For the first time ever at Reach. Because I've been going there since I was like a kid type-ish. And again, it's a youth center. So now it's like I'm a youth worker. But I'm working there technically full-time long story but got there and i set up drum kit drum mics and a monitor and i'm more than positive that was the first time that there's ever been a monitor set up at reach because what i'm really trying to do at reach right is because like i've been told of this mystical magical event that happened back in 2014 like before i even like signed up to go there and whatnot the it was an 18 plus event or at least like an older kids event or whatever the fuck you want to call it and it was super dope because it was just like, again, Reach, it's a family center. It's like a, hey, let's be PG-13, suit and tie. Hi, kids. My name is Paul Allen. Just, no, fuck that. Fuck that. You feel me? I want to, like, turn up at this event because it has such a nice stage type shit. And I want it to be really nice. So what I need to do is, like, because, again, I'm just rambling in my room, talking to myself, talking to a camera. I don't know who's going to hear it. I don't know who's going to watch it. I don't even care. Um, I want a hella nice event there i want to do two events i want to do an event for metal show because i really want to see like i want to see a mosh pit and not no fucking little hip-hop cardi mosh. no i want to see like a real like mosh pit mosh pit i want to get my boys at iron front to pull up and do some crazy shit i would have said wish melter but llwm so yeah my phone died i left off at llwm i want just long story short i want some musicians to pull up my metal people, my metal people to pull up and do a metal show there. And more specifically, a motherfucking Battle of the Bands. I know a Battle of the Bands there would be fire. Again, the way Reach puts on events, got people like doing music and all types of craziness, you feel me? Get the music, get people cooking. And like the thing is, if it's a Battle of the Bands for like the metal community, it would be like set up merch stands, right? Set up, a, imagine you go to a show, right? You set up a merch stand, right? <clears throat> and right next to the merch stand, you sell patches. And right next to the patch stand, there's a sewing, like, committee or group where you can sew your patches on at the show. Have you, do you know how crazy that would be, nigga? Do you know how crazy that would be? Anyways, I got, it's more ideas than that. More ideas than that. But I gotta do some shit. I gotta play ball with Alameda County and do all that shit. Because I know it would be fucking nice to get, again, another 18 plus show. But I was talking to a longtime Reach member. I'm gonna just say his name, my boy Zolly. He's not even a member, he's just an OG at Reach. Like he literally made the studio that I work at. Like he was the one who was like, oh yeah, get this speaker, this computer, this. like he made the studio I work at. So I was talking to him, he was saying, yeah, they at only 18, this would be the second ever 18 plus event. And I'm like, that's crazy. And what it really is, I don't, it doesn't even have to be 18 plus per se. I just want to be able to say, suck my dick on stage and not be looked at crazy for it. You feel me? Like, that's it. That's literally it. Anyways, I've been rambling too long. I'm gonna go watch Joker because I've never seen that movie. And you guys have a good night. It's day one of doing something. I don't know, nigga. Day one of something, bro. That 